Hi again, it's Magia. Welcome to another video. Uh, I decided to work on my Patreon creature creation. And for the month of February, I usually take part in Funguary, which is a mushroom f fungus <laughs> themed prompt list. Uh, and in the past, I've done my Fungulates. And so this year I wanted to do Fungulates again. Um, but instead of doing a bunch of deer species like I usually do and combining them with a um, pre-existing list, I decided to do my creature creation like I've been doing, or well, planning on continuing to do for Patreon, where everything is sort of randomized and I've just filled out the papers and then like randomly draw them. So as you saw there, I got a, a hippo, a zebra, a mouse deer and a cow. <laughs> um, I had a bunch of different ungulates in there, but those are the ones I, I went with. Um, and then for the mushrooms, I got a bleeding tooth, turkey tail, um, amethyst deceiver, and a uh, rhubarb bolet? Bolete? I'm not sure. I've heard it's pronounced both ways. I think bolete is the more common way to pronounce it. Um, after I drew those, I sort of paired them up in the way I thought I would like to draw them. So I thought the bleeding tooth with the hippo would be kind of cool because it'd be really creepy. Uh, and then I went with the zebra and the rhubarb bolete because I thought um, just the colors would be really nice together. That like custardy color and the rhubarb kind of rosy ru ruby color. Ro robesy? Rubesy? Robesy? Rubesy? Rosy color. <laughs> God. Uh, the cow I did at the Amethyst Deceiver because I was like, it's just sort of a purple mushroom. It's nothing really exciting. And then I went with the turkey tail with the little mouse deer because I thought that would make it kind of cute and fluffy. I was really excited to have this sort of spread of different animals and sizes. Like I've drawn cows before. I've obviously drawn zebras before um, and the mouse deer, but I haven't really drawn a lot of hippos. So this was kind of uh, a fun way to kind of shake up what I normally do. So I decided the hippo would be kind of creepy, um, just because the bleeding tooth fungus is also kind of creepy. Everybody thinks it's creepy because um, it looks like a big white thing that's bleeding. <laughs> it's the name. Uh, so I thought I would do the hippo, but with like a bunch of these, uh, what looks like open weeping sores. <laughs> Gross. Um, and yeah, do the eyeballs as well as these like big gooey orbs and then head of it kind of oozing into the river water underneath it. Um, I think it also sort of suits the hippo because like hippos in and of themselves are kind of creepy. <laughs> um, so yeah, that was the plan behind it. Uh, I would say in, as far as execution goes, this one was kind of my least favorite, not because I didn't like the design or the idea, it's just the final product. I don't know, just wasn't really what I was after. But I kind of went in with a wet wash and did my best to sort of um, put those pools of red where they would like bleed out and then into where I was doing the like water underneath it. And then I did a really simple water around um, just kind of the body so it looks like he's popped out of the water and is oozing into it. <laughs> I didn't realize how uncomfortable it would be to describe this one. Um, but yeah, I think it turned out all right. It's just not my favorite. Um, so I didn't end up using it in sticker sheets for next month. Uh, but the next one I worked on was my zebra. That was the rhubarb bolete. Um, boletes are these like great big honkin' mushrooms, but I thought, I thought it'd be cool to do the that short mane with just like a row of mushrooms all tightly clustered and then have the tail be like one big mushroom. Mostly I was just interested in doing a zebra in these like really pretty colors. So I went in and I did another wash um, and I tried to kind of diffuse some of that like pink custard. I said pink custard, custard, rhubarb, rhubarb. That's the part of it. Good God, the rhubarb. I tried my best to <laughs> have that color kind of um, fade out into it so that I could layer over top of it because the stripes were all going to be that rhubarb color. I also tried to do all of these colors just with my base three um, like primaries from Bean Paints. You can see them there. Um, I think I ended up adding some black from my Koi set to one or two of them just to kind of deepen them up because I wasn't able to kind of mix the color the way I wanted to. But the uh, I really liked the colors on the the rhubarb zebra bolete. I thought they turned out really cute doing the like zebra stripes on there and that pink was really nice. And I like that custardy yellow underneath. I think this one was one of my favorites. I think this one is my favorite. Yeah. 
I think this one's my favorite. I think it turned out really, really cute. The next combination was the cow with the amethyst deceiver. I decided for this one, I would combine it with a um, Brahma, Brahma, Brahma cow. Yeah, the humps. Uh, just because every time I've seen pictures of them, they had this like nice gray gradient in a lot of them, like at their heads going back to their flanks. So I thought if it was just gonna be a solid purple cow, <laughs> I could choose one that has like a nice gradient and kind of do that effect with it. Um, so again, this was just a purple I mixed up with my beam paints. I think I added a little bit of like a bright violet later on from a pre like a a pan in my Koi watercolor set that was already that violet color, just sort of to help me add a little bit more difference to it without it drying out while I tried to mix another color. I find the beam paints, uh, I love them. They're like my favorite paints, um, but they do dry down pretty quickly. So I'm always like racing the <laughs> my edges drying when I'm using them. And then once that was all done, I kind of went in with a second wash, um, just some more purpley tones, this like blue purple at the beginning, so that it would kind of um, fade from a dark bluish purple to a more pinky violet purple. Um, and yeah, I thought that wash turned out really cute. I, I like this little cow. And I like the tail too. I added like a little cluster of tiny mushrooms to the tail. So it's got the little mushroom horns, kind of like my um, previous fungulates with the deer species. Uh, and then the little like cluster of mushrooms in its tail. I thought that turned out really, really cute. The amethyst deceiver mushroom is very pretty. It's such a cute color. Also purple is my favorite color, so you know. The last one, the fourth one that I worked on was the mouse deer. So the only actual deer species one that was in there, um, combined with the turkey tail mushroom. Um, turkey tails are kind of cool looking. They grow on like the sides of trees and stuff. Somebody who knows more about mushrooms will be like, actually. <laughs> but they have this like brown and like bluish gray color, which I thought was really pretty. Uh, and then the mouse deer, they're so interesting looking. It's like if you combined uh, a capybara with with a deer because like I find their little bodies they like hunch up their little butts kind of cute and then they have their like legs all splayed out a little bit funny I tried to imitate that with the way its legs were sitting where they're like sort of I don't know they just have this like cute little shy look to them and they like walk around like they're extremely shy even though it's just their normal walk they're very cute I really like them so yeah this one was a really fun one to do too all fluffy and cute <laughs> So I ended up making a sticker sheet of my three favorites. It's actually the literal watercolor paintings. I'm gonna make the sticker paper look like watercolor paper. And I did some digital mushrooms with them as well. You can see them here. Um, but yeah, I hope you liked watching me paint these guys and I hope you like my fungulates. If you want the stickers that go along with these or the print, which is the sketch page in behind, um, you can just join my Patreon in the description below. I also have my store and my secret store is still open right now too. Uh, so yeah, have a great day. Thank you so much and free Palestine. Bye!